Hey guys, here is the FF4. And uh, this is a mock up. I just took some elements. Basically, it's um, I laid it out on this long piece. This is the FF4. Uh, on, on this side of the aluminum, it's an FF6. <laughs> on the other side, I forget what I laid out here, but I used this piece for experimenting. But I measured out my insulators. I used some copper I had laying around. We have some old stuff, some new stuff. And uh, I'm on it. Uh, Florida is kind of open and stores are open and things like that, but the rest of the world isn't yet. So we're having some delays in material. I really need copper. I need, I need a wider insulator material. This needs to be, these need to be, uh, about four and a half inch wide. There's a there's a great separation three three and a half three seventy five anyway I'm getting to this <coughs> I did put the numbers up it it's a fairly large antenna it's forty inches from top to bottom and the uh, the bows here at the top they're your standard nine point five they they pick up the higher frequencies on UHF. The larger bows, these are 12.5s, and uh, they, they do a fabulous job with the lower frequencies. I haven't started the phase line because I need 40 inches for two, 40 inches times two for phase lines, and I just don't have it. Well, I don't have it all in the same size. <laughs> I've got bits and pieces, but anyway, I'm just showing you. If you can, I put the numbers on the site here, and uh, if you can build from the numbers I put up, go go for it. It's it's a it's a fabulous antenna. And uh, as soon as we I pick up some material, get this all straightened out, uh, I'll build it up and show you what I did. Meanwhile, thanks for subscribing if you have, and uh, if not, hit the button. I mean, I really don't, uh, I really don't uh, solicit for that, but I'm just glad people come and expand their mind a little bit, learn something, and have a good time doing it. See y'all later.